That's right guys, as you know it, I now have a brand new unboxing video of the Makita 36 volt brushless backpack vacuum with HEPA filter. I'm definitely excited to unbox this one. Been waiting to unbox this box for a while. Basically picked it up um, yesterday. I wanted to unbox it um, yesterday after I picked it up, but I didn't have time. Basically ran out of time. But here we are, the next day. And it comes with your little floor attachment. And it comes with your pipe, extendable pipe. And you just have to, yeah, you twist the collar to basically uh, tighten it. Yeah, then not twist it to loosen it. It's all plastic, but it's still really nice, um, high quality. Gorgeous. And here's a unit itself. Let's get the hose out first. Here's your hose. Uh, the hose itself, it's uh, really nice commercial grade quality. The handle part is also pretty nice. Here's your clip so that it attaches to your um, belt, your backpack harness belt. So you don't have to hold uh, the hose the whole time. Hopefully my table is big enough to hold all this. I don't think we're going to need my knife anymore. Let's put this away. Um, yeah, here's a little corner type of accessory. Basically, does it go on here or does it go on here? Yeah, I believe it goes on here. Just send. Yeah, and it's good for like your corners and whatnot. Just like that. This guy goes here, or he goes here. That means this guy will have to go here, I would assume. Unless if there's another piece that helps, yeah, connect it here. Yeah, it should be. Anyways. Uh, here's your... Instruction manual, and here is your um, basically warranty card. Now, I do think it does include the help of filter pre installed on the vacuum. basically it for the box but yeah here's the unit itself and here you go it's, yeah you get Hopefully you guys can see, you guys get a pre-installed HEPA filter and you guys get one bag. That's about it, you don't really get any more spare bags. Which, eh, which is slightly unfortunate, I guess. I kind of wish Makita threw in a spare bag or two, or three, or five. But whatever, it is what it is. And you have a rubber seal here, so you have a nice almost like a nice like really good high quality airtight seal so you prevent the dust from escaping and you're basically forced the dust is basically forced to go through the HEPA filter before it goes out anywhere which is good the locking mechanism is nice and quick it's 
the quality is nice it's a really nice solid piece of plastic here's your unit you have your light your LED light which comes out here so you can use it as a mini little flashlight for your dark situations two LEDs so you have your LED on and off switch you have your power on and off and then you have your little two-speed cycle normal mode and low mode low mode will also decrease suction but would also make the unit a bit more quieter if you need if you need a unit quiet like let's say if a baby's sleeping or if you're using this in a commercial environment like in a hospital or like in a restaurant and you need a vacuum to be quiet so you don't wake up a baby or you don't bother patients you could just hack it into low mode and here are your backpack um, straps your harness that basically goes through not through but um, on your shoulders and whatnot nice quality definitely a nice quality you get a few clips and whatnot I'm absolutely excited to use this unit and it uses two um, 18 volt battery packs which slide in here for a total of 36 volts as I was mentioning basically just a second ago the unit does use two 18 volt battery packs for a total of 36 volts you, you just basically get them Slide them in, boom. Got the second one, slide it in, and boom, voila, that's it. You're ready to go. And the LED light, you just basically have to press the button once, it lights up and it stays on um, automatically. Press it again, turns off. Now, if you do leave the LED light accidentally left on, it does shut off after 10 minutes which is a great feature by Mikita. now I, I will be demonstrating a sound test to basically show you guys and give you guys an idea how loud the unit is on regular mode and on low suction mode well it's time for the sound test basically you just press here once and it turns on automatically of course and every time you turn you turn it on it basically um, goes to normal mode which is the highest suction that's basically its default mode so this is how loud it is once you turn it on as you can see it's not too bad and this is quieter mode this is how loud it is in the quietest mode and to turn it off you just um, click here So, uh, as you were basically able to tell, the unit's not too loud. I wouldn't say the unit's whisper quiet, but it's not as loud as a leaf blower, where you're basically going to be having to wear um, hearing protection as you vacuum. I would say the unit's as loud as your average vacuum, but probably 10 decibels quieter than your average vacuum. So, it's... It's not bad, it's a, it's a really nice, tolerable uh, noise level type of vacuum. So it shouldn't really annoy you and be too, too loud as you're vacuuming. Um, suction power is really, really great. Even on low mode, the suction power is still phenomenal. Um, absolutely great vacuum, I'm in love with it. I haven't vacuumed my house for like basically like a week so I actually have an excuse to use this unit in a bit which <laughs> I'm dying to. Um, the battery packs apparently last for what is it um, I believe 90 minutes it's advertised if you have the 5000 milliamps battery, battery packs right now I'm using the 3000 milliamp battery packs so on high mode, I should probably get about eh, 60, 50 minutes the whole time, which is which is more than enough. I have a three floor house and I should definitely be able to vacuum my entire house within 50 minutes. So that's phenomenal. Now, for Makita's next generation vacuum, like their um, 
I guess, part two of this vacuum, if there were to improve on, on this vacuum unit, what they could do is possibly make it just a bit more quieter. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, um, they only give you one bag. I think it would have been nice if they just threw in five more bags. Um, tank capacity is a nice size. It's not too big like your other backpack vacuums where basically it looks like you're just carrying an oil drum on your back. But it's not too small where you're going to have to replace the vacuum bag like every 20 minutes, 30 minutes of vacuuming. This should definitely last you for a while. So, yeah, for the next generation of backpack vacuums, they could throw in a few uh, vacuum bags. And my only other complaint is this is... I wish the, the width of this was a bit wider. It's not even a foot. It's a few inches shorter than a foot. I think uh, for the next generation. Or they should have an optional um, floor sweeper attachment. That should be like exactly a foot. So you get more of a, more of a cleaning radius. So you're able to clean your floors or rugs um, faster with just fewer sweeps. So yeah, they just have to um, include a few more bags for you. This should be wider and maybe make the unit a bit more quieter. Even though it's not really loud as it is right now. Besides that, mwah, absolutely phenomenal vacuum. For Makita's first backpack vacuum ever, Jesus, they absolutely nailed it. 36 volts, cordless. HEPA filter, brushless mortar, so the mortar is gonna, it's gonna, compare you, compared to your brushed mortars, the mortar is gonna last longer, it's gonna stay cooler, it's gonna drain your battery packs even less compared to a brushed mortar, and um, brushless mortars, they spin faster, they have a higher RPM, so suction is also stronger. Jesus Christ, I think Makita did a phenomenal job. If they were ever to discontinue this vacuum, I would directly go to the headquarters and yell at them. They cannot discontinue this unit. It's absolutely, oh Jesus, just incredible. Anyways, I believe that basically concludes my video. I highly recommend this unit. I basically paid uh, $350 for it, so I got a good deal on it. That's $350 Canadian. It roughly retails for around four hundred dollars. Now, do you for four hundred dollars? Are you getting what you paid for? Absolutely, yes, one hundred percent. I mean, everything's commercial grade quality. The cable here is high quality. Everything is just like you can't even break this stuff. Like you could try to break it. Yes, it'll probably break eventually. But if you drop it, hack it down. A flight of stairs or anything I guarantee you it's gonna survive but yeah let me shut up now and let me just kill the video okay thank you guys now at the beginning of the video I did attach just a rubber little corner piece the wrong way of the tube you just basically put it here you just have to basically jimmy it just squeeze it in there and boom that's how you properly insert it but anyways what I do actually want to show you guys now I have this other Makita cordless vacuum which is absolutely phenomenal and this is an optional brush you could buy for this vacuum and if it's perfectly just like that now what I did basically just learned is that the same optional brush for this vacuum fits the backpack vacuum right here at the tip hopefully you guys could see and boom voila so you could use this optional brush for this backpack vacuum if it's absolutely nice and snug and just perfect. This brush you could get it on um, Amazon for only $5 so you can't go wrong. Another thing is, hopefully you guys could see, but the backpack here has a little um, strap here too. And that is to put your accessory here, just um, leave it hanging just like that boom and it's uh, basically velcro so you could adjust uh, the size of it and how how you want it to grip it and whatnot 
but also what I found out if you do buy this accessory brush it will also you can also just store it here like boom and voila just leave it dangling there and boom there you go two in one so yeah I definitely recommend uh, for you guys to go and pick up this brush for only five dollars on Amazon for this unit and you can store it right here as I showed you a second ago voila all right thanks guys